Creating Accessible PowerPoint Presentations Chapter 4, Transitions, Animation and Accessibility Testing This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. There is an option in PowerPoint to have slides transition automatically after a predetermined number of seconds. This option is to be avoided when posting or distributing PowerPoint files. People with physical disabilities often need more time to react, to type and to complete activities. People with low vision need more time to locate things on screen and to read. People who are blind and using screen readers may need more time to understand screen layouts, to find information and to operate controls. People who have cognitive or language limitations need more time to read and to understand. People who are deaf and communicate in sign language may need more time to read information printed in text, which may be a second language for some. Because of these reasons, accessibility standards dictate that automatic timing is not allowed unless there is an obvious and easy way to adjust the timing by anyone accessing the file. This option is not readily available to most users of PowerPoint files, therefore you should avoid automatic transitions. Using animation while presenting live is usually not a problem. However, animation files in PowerPoint do cause problems when the PowerPoint is posted or distributed outside of a live presentation. Animation files tend to cause huge problems with most assistive technologies, like screen readers. If you have added animation to your live presentation, simply remove the animation prior to posting. If you have any questions about adding an animation file to your PowerPoint, you should always perform a test using assistive technologies prior to posting. As with all file formats, as you are developing your file, and when you are done, you must perform an accessibility check. Your first check should be using the built-in accessibility checker in PowerPoint. Choose, File then, Check for Issues, and finally Check Accessibility. The built-in checker will provide information about a lot of accessibility errors which should be fixed. You should go through all the errors, warnings and tips that are identified to ensure your file meets accessibility standards. When completed with the built-in accessibility check you should conduct a manual check using the quick check developed by the Accessibility and Policy Unit. There are some items which would have been identified by the built-in checker, such as the presence of alt text, whether every slide has a title and if all the titles are unique. Additionally, the built-in checker should have already reminded you to check the reading order of your slides. But there are several things that are not addressed by the built-in checker and require a manual check. Such as, whether the document has a title and properties. If your color contrast is correct, or if you have used color alone to show meaning. You also need to check if all your hyperlinks are meaningful, and verify that you have not turned on automatic transitions and whether your animation is appropriate. Chapter 4 Topics Review People with disabilities such as blindness, low vision, dexterity impairments, and cognitive limitations may require more time to read content. If slide transitions are automatic, it may be difficult for some users to fully comprehend the slideshow. Animations can be distractions to some persons with disabilities, but more importantly they may cause major problems with assistive technologies, like screen readers. Always perform both an accessibility check with the software tools you have available and a manual check using your human logic to ensure your file meets all accessibility standards. For more information about this topic, or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit at dss.ca.gov.